Okay, guys, uh, I tried to record this a couple of times. Sound didn't work. I don't know why, so I'm going to go over it again. Uh, it'll be online, obviously. You'll see it, and we'll go from there. So, here we are. How many terms are in the polynomial? One, two, three. C. Coefficients, the numbers that are with variables, negative three and seven. X squared, X squared. Two of them positive. X, X, X. Three of them negative. Four positive. Subtract. 4r squared minus 7r squared is negative 3r squared. Then I'll do my r's. 0r's in the first one minus 6r's in the second one to get negative 6r's. And I'll do my third one. Negative 3 minus 5. Negative 3 minus 5. Negative 8. Right there, negative 3r, negative 6r, negative 8. Add these up to do the perimeter. 10x, 9x, 8x, 27x, 10 minus 8 minus 6, negative 4. 27x minus 4. Divide. Divide each one. 30 divided by 6, 5w squared. 20, negative 24 divided by 6, negative 4w. 18 divided by 6, positive 3. Five w minus 4w plus 3. Multiply. Distribute. Don't forget the exponents. Negative 18c squared plus 30c. E. Graph this guy. Closed dot. So x, arrow goes to the right, greater than or equal to negative 1. Solve this. Solve it just like a regular equation, except there's one trick. Minus 14, minus 14, negative 3, t is greater than or equal to negative 12. Divide by negative 3. Once you divide by negative 3, you've got to change the sign. So t becomes less than positive 4, c. Solve this. Distribute 4x plus 20 equals 16, minus 20, minus 20, 4x equals negative 4, divide by 4, x equals negative 1. Solve this. Letters on the same side. Negative 4 is smaller. So you're going to add 4 to both sides, and then you're going to add 8 there and add 8 there to get 7x equals 21. Divide by 7, and x will equal 3. This pattern continues. So, there's perimeter to figure number. So it's n N and P. First figure number has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Second one, we have added 1, 2. So it's really got 10. And just to prove it, so you believe me, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see it's going up by twos. So this will be three, twelve. Now we check. It's always um, input math equals output. Our input was one and then some math to equal our output, which was eight. So what's happening? Plus two, plus two. So it must be two times one, and then I need some more math. How do I get to eight? I have to add six. So let's, that would make it two n plus six equals p. Let's check. Two times two is four, four plus six is 10, so we're correct. So it's three. So now I look down here and I find B is three. Point P is right there. What's its ordered pair? I need the X first, which is three, and then the Y, which is five. 28. Which graphs are lines? The only one that isn't is curvy Q. So P, R, and S. Which graph, which of these points is on this graph? <coughs> so, you have to check X's and Y's. So that's a 1 for X. 12 minus 6 is 6. So P is good. 12 minus 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0, so Q's out. 12 minus 6 times 2 is 12 is 0, so R is good. And 12 minus 0 is 6. No, that's no good, so it's just P and R. Which line is y equals 2? Well, there's y equals 2. There's only one line going through it. It's line P. Vertical lines. Vertical lines means only an x value. So that's only an x. That's got a y. That's got an x and a y. And that's got an x. So it's 1 and 4. Which equation below is this? Choose a point, any point on the graph. I'm going to choose that one. That is 4, 1. Now I'm going to come up to here. There is an x, there is a y. Half of x is 2, plus 1 is 3. So this guy would be 4, 3. That's not 4, 1, so he's out. This guy. When I start with 4, half of 4 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so that guy would be 4, 1. Hey, that works. This guy, if I start with 4, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, negative 8 minus 1 is not 1, so he's out. And 8 minus 1 is not 1, so he's out. So it has to be line 2. Determine x when y is negative 2. So I go to negative 2, and I find my x. Right there, up, it's a half. Negative a half. The original frame is this. The new frame is 6.2. Two scale factor. So I take 8.5 and I multiply it by 6.2. Now that's pretty close to 9 times 6, right? Which is 54. So what's that one? A square has a side of 13.6. The side length of the reduction. So remember, it's model over original. 
So it's 3.4 over 13.6. Right? So then you just got to check which one of these it is. Well, it can't be 4 because it's a reduction. It can't be 51 because it's a reduction. So it has to be one of these two. You can quite plainly see that 3 goes into 13 four times. So it must be 1 quarter without even getting your calculator out. As soon as you see this, what do you know you have to do? Cross multiply. Multiply the pair, divide the spare. 18x equals 13.5 times 4.5. So I get up my calculator. 13.5 times 4.5. Then I divide by 18. And I get 3.375. Right there. Determine the length of AE. AE is right here. What side does it compare to? This side right here. So 3 compares to this that I don't know, which is X. Now, what do I know? I know this side is 4. And I know this whole side is 14. So the little one, 4 over 14. Then I multiply the pair, divide the spare, which is 3 times 14 divided by 4, which is 42 divided by 4, which is about 10, so 10.5. You didn't have to do 38. You didn't have to do 39. You didn't have to do 40. 41, which is the tangent? Right there, PR. O is the center of the circle, makes that 90, makes that 90 minus 41, which is 30, 49. That's 90. You've done this question to death a million times. That's Pythagoras, 10 squared plus 11 squared equals a squared. Square root that, 14.9. You just saw this question on your last test. Radius, radius, which makes these two the same. 18 and 18, which means b has to be 180 minus 36, which is 144. O is the center of the circle, determine S. I need this right here. You can see that since this is split, that makes a 90 degree. -er. You know this is 7. You know your radius is 10. So it's 10 squared minus 7 squared will equal S squared. Square root that. That's 100 minus 49 square root, which is 51 equals s squared. The square root of 51 is, of course, 7.1. qs goes right there. I need all the angles from qs. There's 1. qps. There's 2. qts. Determine the value of x. Well, since that guy and that guy come from the same arc, x must be 60. Since that guy is a central angle and that guy is an inscribed angle that comes from the same arc, that guy must be 88 divided by 2, 44. Surface area of this cylinder is pi 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. You'll get this on your test. You don't need to worry. Remember, it's easiest to leave it as pi. So 2 times pi times 6.5 squared plus 2 times pi times 6.5 times 7. 
This is really hard to leave as pi because there's a 0.5 squared, right? So you go to your calculator, 6.5 squared, you hit the squared button, is 42.25. So I had 6.5 squared times 2 to get 84.5. So I've got 84.5 pi plus, go back to my calculator, 2 times 6.5 times 7 is 91 pi. Then you add those together. 91 plus 84.5 to get 175.5 pi. Now, 175 is pretty close to 200. 200. Pi is pretty close to 3. 200 times 3 is 600. Find this surface area. It's a 10 centimeter cube on a 20 centimeter cube. So, remember, you guys were taught that's cube 1 plus cube 2 minus 2 overlaps. That's how you were taught one way. I taught you another way too, but I'm going to show you this way because this is what's in your notes. Remember, this is 20, so this is 20. So this, is, since they're cubes, they're all the same. So it's 6 times 20 times 20, which is, go to your calculator, 6 times 20 times 20 is 2,400. I'm not going to be going to the calculators again. 6 times 10 times 10 is 6 times 100, which is 600. I add. The overlap is this. 10 times 10, and I need two of them because I need two overlaps, so minus 200 equals 2,800. And that's it.